Awesome. It is a pleasure to have you on the call here today. We've been experiencing a real ride, you know, in nodes technology, you know, and what is possible with nodes with the concepts, more or less. And today I have understood that we will get to hear from you what comes to green. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. Yeah, I'm really I will excited. leave you with that, sir. I will leave you with that, sir, and I will, you know, listen more than I speak. And, you know, and I'm looking forward to listening to your, your presentation on green. Uh, you know, Connect, we're really excited about uh, working with Connect, uh, integrating with Connect, and ultimately reaching this community of uh, really uh, influential people that want to make an impact and make a difference in this world. So glad to be here. So if you please would go ahead and tell us what makes green so special and what, how does it work and why are you so excited about it, especially connecting it to the community? Well, uh, green is, is, is an incredible project. Um, I, uh, I've always been, a, I like, I like to give a little personal background to, to everybody on here. Um, I, uh, I like to be a part of really impactful projects and movements. And uh, for much of my life, I've had the opportunity to work with uh, uh, different authors. And back in the early 2000s, I had the opportunity to work with a guy that wrote a book uh, called The One Minute Millionaire. And it's, it's, it's the enlightened way to wealth. And when they approached me, he, he co-wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul. And when he approached me about these, this book and this new project that uh, he was undertaking, uh, I was really intrigued because it's really two books in one. You look at it and it's both fiction and nonfiction all in one book. And I had never heard of that before. It just changed uh, my whole paradigm of a book. And he said, you know, we broke the idea is that it will be two books in one. Uh, the left pages is for the left brain people, very logical, very practical, you know, very step by step how you, you know, create wealth in your life. And the right hand pages is more of a story based on uh, a woman's life, a, a real person applying the things that you would learn in this book. And and their goal was to to change the idea of wealth. Uh, because at that time, at least here in the USA, it was during Enron and there was a lot of corruption and, and people had this idea that of wealth that just uh, from their point of view was totally off base. And their goal was to turn it into uh, bestsellers, two bestsellers, both on the fiction and the nonfiction at the same time. And, uh, and so they invited uh, me and some close friends to work with them on it. And uh, it was the most exciting thing ever. Uh, we uh, were able to create over a hundred millionaires uh, and gave <laughs> yes. over gave over a hundred million uh, dollars in charity uh, to different causes around the world. It was it was so cool, and probably the coolest thing I've ever done. Until one of my close friends came to me and. Uh, and said, Steve, uh, and actually I was with another one of my really close friends. Both of these are my childhood friends uh, that I've known for a very long time. And they pitched this idea to me about green. And have you ever had one of those experiences where someone tells you something, uh, whether or you watch a movie or you hear a story, or maybe it's you know on your phone, on Instagram or something, you see a little video, and the hair on the back of your neck just stands up. When, yes, Stephen, I'm having it now. Yeah, yes. <laughs> this book well, I that want you to speak about, amazing that you are involved with that. I mean, it's one of the best books I ever read. Oh, it's it, it, it changed my life, it, truly. And uh, when, when my friend was telling me about this vision uh, that he had uh, about energy, and to me and my other friend, the hair on the back of my neck just stood up. And it was one of those moments where I was just like, I have to do this. I must do this. Uh, I can't think of anything better that I would do right now than work on this project. And so I am so happy to be talking with you guys today about this vision 
And you've already heard the cat's out of the bag. It's called green. And uh, green uh, is going to do to energy what Bitcoin is doing to finance. And, uh, you know, every day we see the headlines and everyone's talking about Bitcoin. It seems like it's always hitting a new high. Uh, even right now, you know, uh, I think it's it's just hitting at 68,000. Uh, who have ever thought, you know, this year that it would be up at 68,000? Not many people. But it's totally rewriting the financial game. And in, in what's so cool about it is that, uh, you know, blockchain is disrupting so many different marketplaces and, and, and energy is set to be the next one that is being disrupted. And so, you know, a lot of people don't realize this, but energy has largely remained the same for the last 150 years, uh, especially here in, in the USA and other places around the world. It's pretty much the same thing. You have wires and you have power stations and, you know, it's pretty much been the same for the last 150 years. And, you know, that model uh, has kind of reached the end of its of its of its cycle. And, Outdated, yes. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but, you know, currently there's almost a 1.5 billion people on the planet that don't have electricity, don't have it. They don't have any concept of a light in their home uh, or the ability to turn on a TV. Many of them don't even know what it is, you know? And it's just crazy for me to think about that. Uh, when you start thinking about energy and how it impacts your life, uh, you know, it literally uh, touches every aspect of your life. Uh, I actually read recently in a book that the, the energy grid is the biggest machine, at least in the USA. It's the largest machine in the USA. Uh, and that just floored me because it's just always been there. It's kind of part of the backdrop. You don't really recognize it. And the challenge that we're facing here and many places around the world is blackouts or downtime uh, where, you know, there isn't any light is increasing. Uh, on any given day here in the USA, uh, about half a million people will be without power for about two hours. And the, that's, that's increasing in frequency. And so uh, on top of that, you know, as more and more people are, are using energy, uh, we're starting to be more conscious about the types of energy we use because of the pollution and, and things that it's doing to our planet. And so there's, there's an urgency that we all feel uh, to address this energy uh, problem that we have. And uh, look around right now, you know, we're probably all, we probably all have smart watches. We probably all have smartphones, you know, uh, smart TVs, maybe even smart cars. And you know, the future uh, is a future that will need more energy, not less. And not only will we need more energy, but it has to be more efficient, more clean, more accessible. And so the challenge is great. And uh, these kind of problems cannot be solved with the thinking that got us here. We can't use the 1900s energy model to solve the future. And so, you know, the exciting thing about green is that it's reimagining the way that we source and distribute and, and, and also uh, track energy. And so uh, that's why I'm so excited about green. Uh, and I, you know, I'm going to follow some of this, but probably not fully. You know, here's some things that we probably have all seen. You know, uh, currently there's about 66 and a half percent of the power on our grid is from these dirty fossil fuel sources. Uh, you know, and why is that? Why why has it been that way, and why does it continue to be that way? Well, it's this maze of complicated energy policies and laws that stifle innovation and slow growth and limit access. And so, 
Uh, look at here. This is pretty startling. Right now, 70% of the grid transmission lines and the transformers are over 25 years old. That's crazy. Uh, you know, look at this. Add an additional nine years to that figure, and that's the average age that you have, at least here in America, of a power plant. Uh, you know, it's estimated that by 2050, nearly every single power plant in the U.S. will need to be replaced by new plants. Uh, look at this. It's estimated that by 2050, nearly every single, oh, I already did that one. We'll go to the next one. I had a double there. Here we go. Anyways, on top of, you know, our aging uh, power networks, our transmission lines and our power uh, plants, uh, the power outages, you know, that's in the U.S. We call it blackouts or brownouts. That's whenever the power goes out and we have to turn on a candle or, or use a flashlight. Uh, the frequency of those are increasing every year. And the length of those blackouts is also increasing. And, you know, look at this. I went through and I put this together, believe it or not, did a bunch of research, but Look at this. In 2008, there was 2,169 power outages. And then by 2014, there was 3,634. It's, gro it's growing exponentially. And so we have to address this. And the problem with the current model is it uses a hub and spoke model. And it's kind of like the tire of a bike or the wheel of a bike. In the middle, you have the hub and then you have the spokes that go to the outside. Those are like the power lines. And the problem with that is that it's very fragile because we're all reliant on this one source for energy. And, you know, that's just not going to cut it. We need to have multiple sources. And the challenge has been is how do you do that? And the great thing is Bitcoin showed us. Um, a way that we could apply that technology to energy and totally uh, reimagine and rebuild the energy model in a way that addresses all of these problems, efficiency, security, uh, uh, accessibility, uh, you know, all of these issues can be addressed uh, by using, you know, blockchain uh, with energy. And so, uh, you know, we, in the beginning, when we started on this project, uh, we were big into uh, my buddy's, my buddy was really big into the energy model. And he saw a problem. He saw, he was in Hawaii and, and on vacation with his family. And he noticed that the windmills were breaking and they weren't getting fixed. And he, you know, being an energy that really was really kind of you know, a little concerning to him. And he managed to make his way over and to talk to some of the uh, owners that were running these windmills. And, you know, they told him that, you know, a lot of the subsidies, uh, the government money that would help to uh, subsidize the expense of these, of these new energy sources was drying up. They weren't able to provide that as much anymore. And so they weren't able to continue to fix their different, uh, you know, windmills and their different power sources. And so that really troubled him. And so he, you know, went to work thinking about how, how that could be fixed and how more people could get access to energy, because there's a lot of people around the world that don't have access to energy. And we have to address that because, you know, just think about it. You know, if you have access to energy, then you have you could have light. If you have light, then that means you could read books later later into the evening. You could work later into the evening. Maybe that means that you could have access to the internet. That ain't that enables you to maybe <clears throat> learn new skills, acquire a new job. Uh, it enables you to connect to a larger global marketplace to transact and and to uh, participate in a larger larger global economy. And so uh, electricity really and getting everyone, you know, getting the masses access to electricity uh, can fundamentally change our planet and improve the quality of our lives, you know. And so uh, blockchain can do that. Now, I want to show you this. 
a lot of people don't realize this, but blockchain technology in the energy market is predicted to rise to about 18 billion by 2025, which is pretty incredible because that's just a few years from now. Uh, you know, and what green is doing, the simplest way that I could explain uh, green on a really high level is we've all heard about Airbnb, right? You know, Airbnb rewards you for sharing your home, right? Uber rewards you for sharing your car. Well, green rewards you for sharing your power. That's what green does is it literally enables you, uh, much like Airbnb and Uber, it enables you, the technology enables you to share your power. And, you know, it uses this, the blockchain's peer-to-peer -peer nature to allow you to share your power. And it's really cool how it all works. And essentially, uh, you can run one of these nodes uh, on one of these, on one of uh, the compatible devices, whether it's a, your computer uh, at home or a computer at work. You can run this node and, and what it's doing is it's, I like to think of it as creating a new wireless grid. Think of it like that, a wireless grid that isn't limited by the ocean, right? And it isn't limited by some of the things that the traditional energy grid is limited. And it, what it does is it incentivizes uh, uh, the generation of new forms of energy and power. So you think about some of the problems of our current energy uh, model, right? Something that we all hate is if we're watching a show or we have the lights on or we're trying to cook when the power goes out. That's like the worst thing ever, right? <laughs> and, you know, that's, that's a bad thing for, for energy is blackouts and downtime. And so when you think about an energy model for the future, you want one that is always on, is always connected. And so green rewards power providers or people that are sharing their power by running the node. It rewards them for staying connected and staying online without interruption. So the longer that your node is connected and the more consistent it's connected, the more uh, green rewards uh, you would earn, okay? That's how it it is. Uh, that's how the algorithm is programmed in that, and so in that way, it's going to incentivize a, a power model that has less downtime, right? In addition, it incentivizes power providers for being uh, how do you say it uh, more efficient and and seeking out free free and renewable forms of energy. Uh, and by doing that, uh, power providers will be able to earn more rewards, more green rewards. And so, you know, it's really fascinating how the whole green uh, blockchain is built. It, you know, in blockchain with Bitcoin, it uses proof of work. That's a model uh, that it uses, uh, you know, in blockchain. Uh, to create value. You look at Ethereum and it uses proof of stake. Well, green uses something called proof of power. And the proof of power model, uh, what it does is it, it essentially validates legitimate forms of power contribution. So, you know, when you provide, you know, power uh, by running a node, uh, it ver your node helps to verify other power providers. And for doing that work, verifying power, then your node generates rewards, green rewards. Now, what can you do with these green rewards? Can I ask right? you a question in between? I'm yeah. sorry, but to make it clear for the people. Yeah. Because it, it's so important, uh, this that you mentioned, and I think most people miss it because you, if I have understood correctly, Correct me if I'm wrong. What Green is doing and the verifications that we are doing is we can verify that it is a, a kilowatt or whatever or uh, produced that is environmentally consciously uh, taking into consideration social capital in it, even carbon credits uh, possibly, and so on. And that brings uh, 
uh, value to energy provider to actually be verified by us. Is that the yes. right, right way of saying? Yeah. So yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up and that you keyed okay. in on that. Yeah, because what it does is it in, you know it incentivizes uh, power providers or node operators, people that are running a node and and providing power uh, to this new global network. The green blockchain is what it's called by contributing power and doing it responsibly and as efficiently as possible, you're going to be able to earn more green rewards. You know, I don't like to get super technical because it loses a lot of people. It's kind of like, you know, your Wi-Fi router, you know that it works, you love it, you enjoy it, but you're not quite sure how it works on the granular levels, right? The details. Uh, but, you know, green, yes, it measures energy, it measures power, and it rewards for consistent power generation and contribution, you know, sharing power. It, it rewards you uh, for providing more power. So more nodes that you run, the more rewards you can earn. That's how you maximize, you know, your green rewards. And, you know, and then also, like I said before, you know, seeking out free uh, and economical energy sources. And so in this way, you know, green is going to incentivize uh, the creation uh, of a new global energy grid or power grid that, you know, is going to, you know, release innovation uh, from people to come up with all kinds of new and exciting ways to generate power uh, and to make it more accessible and more responsible, uh, you know, as, as we go forward. So, you know, that's, you know, on a super high 10,000 foot level, how green works. So what other questions do you, do you have? I would ask the following, uh, are there limitations, you know, how many nodes, for an example, will be available? Uh, you know, what is the strategy of the rollout, you know, when you are switching it, or do you need a lot of capacity? How many, you know, technical quest questions, is it is it easy to do? Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, that's, you know, and that's why we're so excited about Connect, you know, and Connect wanting to, you uh, to integrate with green uh, because that's what connect does technology, you know, can be really intimidating. Uh, you know, I grew up on a farm, <laughs> believe it or not, I didn't do a lot of computer work and computers was always something that was very intimidating to me and not, it was something that I didn't always fully understand as a kid until some company came along called AOL America online. And, you know, you just put this little CD in your computer and instantly you could connect to the Internet. They made it so easy. And that's what, you know, I'm really excited about Connect. They bring that to green. They make it so that, you know, running, running, running a green node is really easy. It's as li literally as easy as just double clicking on the program. It launches, you know, you log in. And then you literally just hit start and it goes and the technology takes care of all of the details. And, you know, you can have a node running on your computer while you're, you know, playing a game or while you're, you know, doing some of your work, you can run a green node and it's measuring, you know, power generation and power uh, contribution and that data of power usage and power generation uh, is really valuable. And it's really important when trying to build out a strong uh, and resilient, you know, power grid. How, how, much, how much memory does it take up on, on your computer? Do you have those uh, details? Yeah, so, you know, uh, you know, basically, you know, if, you're, if your computer runs a Windows, or a Mac computer, or, you know, uh, an Ubuntu Linux computer, you know, if you can connect to the internet, uh, then, 
you know, with the latest operating system, then you should have no problem running a green node. You don't have to have a top of the level computer. You don't have to have an expensive computer. You know, literally, you know, if you're able to run the, you know, the latest, you know, Windows software or the latest, you know, Apple software or Linux, you're good. You're good to go. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting concept, I must say. How long have yeah. you been involved uh, involved on the, in the green uh, project, sir? Oh, um, what would you say? Like 2000, I'm talking to my buddy, probably since 2017. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for quite some time. Yeah, a long time. time. Yeah, very long time. It's it, been it, really exciting. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Thank you, thank you, sir, for 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 sharing about uh, about green. How do you see the future? With uh, what, what is the company's? What is the green's uh, specific targets? What can you see happening in the next year within the end of 2022? Yeah, so we're really excited. Like literally, when you ask that question, I'm I'm getting like you know goosebumps because I'm so excited about the future and the roadmap of green. Uh, green is. Uh, you know, isn't like a traditional company. It's a, it's, it's a decentralized group of passionate uh, people that, that love technology, but also love energy. And so we're attracting a lot of really uh, talented uh, men and women around the world. We're getting a lot of people coming to us, wanting to work with us. And, you know, part of that roadmap, uh, you know, includes, you know, rolling out additional support for energy credits, you know, additional support for uh, solar and other renewable forms of energy where the integration is more, more tightly, uh, there's a more tighter integration, you know, with, you know, some of the, you know, ways that we, you know, use and generate energy. You know, we've also talked about uh, some of these, you know, more niche projects, you know, we had, we had a group, I had the opportunity to talk to uh, a group that created, it, it goes on light poles and it spins when cars drive by it. Yeah, yeah. And it's really cool. We've been talking to them. They're really interested in the green project. And, you know, we've been talking with them about different ways that we could integrate green with some of their technology. You know, uh, there's been talk about electric cars and how green you know, could integrate with some of the charging stations to help offset some of that cost so that, you know, you could charge your car potentially for free. Interesting. So basically we're taking, uh, we're taking existing energy that can be produced for a low price, offsetting it through the node technology to actually support rolling out more sustainable energy. So that's what yeah. you Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's so cool, you know, because uh, that is cool of, because the yeah. energy prices are so big difference in them. You know, I'm just speaking to a company in Laos uh, that is starting now. Uh, they allowing mining, you know, bitcoins, you know, and crypto in general, and they have actually we might be able to reach you know three cents, you know, per kilowatt. Wow! You know? yeah. yeah. So then you think the three cents, you know, to it, it, it gets it, interesting, so to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it's a game changer for sure, you know. And, you know, we're talking right now, um, you know, uh, about integrating green with some of these other projects that Connect is integrating with. You know, we're all separate, you know, different projects with different teams, you know, but we're all united in this vision of blockchain and, uh, you know, rolling that technology and making it more accessible to people all over the world. And, you know, switch is definitely something we've been talking with them about making it a lot easier, you know, for people to uh, access and use their green with switch uh, and to be able to pay their power bills, their electric bills with their green, you know? And so, you know, as part of that roadmap, I would look to see here, you know, early this next year, uh, you know, of 2022, uh, that paying your power bill with green will be really easy, really easy. Okay. okay. Yeah. So basically yeah. you're running a node, node uh, of, of green and uh, you will be able to come to rewards that is matching your power bill. 
Yes, yes. Or that is pretty impressive. Or above. Yeah. Or and if or you're smart even, to keep the rewards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you could even, you know, be able to buy your friends a drink, maybe, with some of the <laughs> you know, that would be cool. <laughs> I, I, I like it because it, this, this is so cool, Steve, because it, it follows the same pattern as the other ones. We, we had uh, Ka- Kathleen Roberts from Swift on yesterday. It follows the same pattern, all of it. Yes, you know, yes. Make it more sustainable. Use uh, use decentralization. It's it's really really interesting. Get paid from the transactions and 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 transacting and confirming transactions on the different blockchains. Yes, yeah. And the cool thing is, is you don't have to be like a computer expert or a programmer to do this. You can literally, you know, get one of these nodes. And they come, there's like a green node, uh, which is, you know, uh, a smaller version of the full node, right? The smart node. And you can launch one of those on your computer and start earning rewards right away. Um, And you can build up to as many nodes as you would like to get, right? And so, you know, it's easy. You just launch the program, you log in, you hit go, and it's running. Very cool. I, I'm looking forward to see where, where this one is taking us in the next uh, days, weeks, months, uh, years, because we have a really cool onboarding mechanism that we call the wind wheel, okay? which we uh-huh. will be able to build up your revenue towards offsetting it into more green node capacity and so and so. So I'm looking really forward. It is a really cool revenue engine. Let's call it a revenue engine. That's cool. Yeah, I love that. I love that. It, that's what's great about blockchain is it's 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 completely rewriting everything that it touches, including you know how we interact with our friends and our social networks, you know, to finances, to power, you know, uh, to health and fitness. I mean, it's literally changing everything and making it way more interesting and accessible for people. I have one question, actually, uh, that I okay. forgot to ask you. Uh, how many people are currently, you know, working on the green project? I mean, it's probably growing, but at the moment, how many people are working on it currently? Yeah, I would say, you know, that that number is dynamic and it changes from time to time, you know, because it's, you know, decentralized and it's fluid. But I would say in general uh, or on average, I would say probably around 40, 40 people okay. are working on it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay, we're looking forward to see, you know, uh, what is the current, you know, uh, current uh, capacity? How much are you getting for running, you know, 24 hour currently a node? How much rewards are you getting out? So uh, that's, uh, that's a hard, that's a hard one, right? Because the way that the green algorithm uh, functions is, you know, it's not like every other blockchain, you know, every blockchain you know, when they launch a blockchain, they have different goals on how they want to incentivize. Yes, of course. You know? And so, you know, green, you know, it really depends upon how many other nodes are connected, right? It also depends on how how many of your nodes are connected, how long they've been connected without downtime. And yeah. so, yeah. you know, it, it, it really varies. And so... Uh, you know, I could tell you that uh, I'm really happy and everyone that I talk to that's running a node is really happy with the rewards that it's generating for them. Uh, and so, you know, you'll just have to get one and start running it and you'll see. <laughs> good answer. Yeah. Good answer. It's a little bit yeah. too good in the beginning, usually. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have understood that that the algorithm is based a lot on uh, the fair launch uh, uh, model, uh, which means that it would be divided basically by how many are on, like you said, on a certain day, how long they're running. Also, yes. in some cases, you know, where it's produced and, and so on. Yeah, so and I would hate to give someone a number and, you know, maybe, you know, their computer goes offline or maybe their power goes offline and they aren't able to run it. And they're like, Steve, you said that I would get this much and I didn't, you know, and yes. so it, yes. it's just so unique. 
by each person and the nodes that they're running you know is it is it very similar to the gala how it is uh, the gala node how it is built up with rewards so there is some similarities with gala um but it's also very different in many ways you know because gala's goal is you know to you know they have different ways that they like to judge a strong and healthy gaming community you know yeah of course you know so in a sense you know you know green wants you know wants power providers to be connected consistently as much as possible and in a similar way i guess you could say you know gala would like game players you know playing a lot right yeah yeah they yeah. would like that that's a really active community right uh so the more that you're playing uh and the you know the more people that you're bringing into gala i guess it would reward you for your referrals you know green you know it's going to reward you for your connection time it's going to reward you for connecting more nodes or providing more power you know so there you know i guess in a way you could say there's some similarities right um but fundamentally yeah they have nodes we have nodes um you know there are you know apps that go along with it to make it easy to store your rewards your digital rewards that you're earning uh to be able to send them and receive them just like an email or like bitcoin you know and there's also ways for you to be able to uh you know uh send those or trade those for other you know digital rewards like a bitcoin or like an ethereum you know so uh it's really exciting and we have a lot of really uh cool uh developments and announcements that will be coming here over the next couple of weeks and early this next year okay interesting we are looking forward we are looking forward we're learning a little bit more every day uh, getting more excited about the concept in general so yeah. thank thank you steven for for coming on steve for coming on and uh I hope that we will be speaking soon again. Hey, thank you for your thank time. You. Hey, thanks for having me. It was truly a joy to talk to you and I love seeing everyone's smiling faces. You guys look like a fantastic community. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> for real, so excited to uh to be able to to work with you guys and to get the message out. So, hopefully we can all meet in person uh in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much for yeah. your time.